This instruction is facilitated by Rob Bondaku. Rob is instructor at Applegate. In this video you will learn how to use the XPages repeat control. After this instruction video, you are able to use the XPage repeat control and understand its properties. You also are able to use the pager for navigation. In another instruction video about Composti applications, you will learn how to define the XPage as a publisher component that can be used in Lotus Notes composite applications. We suppose you have a good understanding of the basics of XPages as teached in the introduction to IBM Lotus Domino XPages 8.5 course. The subjects of this instruction. I first show you the application where the X page is used. It is a composite application that can be used in the Lotus Notes client. The purpose is to find detailed information about a book. After the demonstration, I define a domino view as the data source for the X page. The X page's repeat control uses collections as a source, which could be the result of a DB columnet function or as in our case a domino view. Repeat controls give you more control over the data you want to display than a view control. In the body of the repeat control I will add a label control and a link control to display a sequence number and the title of the book. I will also add a pager control for navigation, which I will bind to the repeat control. I use the link control because I wanted to publish the title of a book in the future in a composite application when a user clicks on a link. In another instruction video, I will show how to do this. The composite application. It consists of two pages. On the first page you can retrieve information in more detail about a book in the book collection. The first page is divided in three columns. In the first column you can select a page. In the second column at the top you see my X pages component. When you click on the book title, the title is transferred as a value to the two components in the third column. One component is a web service call to a bookstore. The other component is a Wikipedia web page. You will look at some sheets before I show you the demo. First I define the data source on the X page. This is standard routine. Select the data source in the data view of Domino Designer. The code is added to the X page, as you see on the sheet. Watch the attribute var, which contains the reference of the data source, called book titles. This reference I will use in the repeat control. Next I drag the repeat control to the X page. The repeat control references the data source, by using expression language. The expression starts with the hash sign, with an expression between curly brackets. In the expression you can do calculations, compare values, and transform values. You can also reference other elements on the page. The value attribute is used to define the data source, in my case, book titles. The value is case sensitive. I also added the attribute var to the repeat control, and gave it the value book title. This variable represents a row in the domino view. I will use this variable within the body of the repeat control to retrieve column values. You will see more on the next sheet. Then I added a label control. In the value attribute I reference the variable index. This variable was defined in the repeat control attribute index var and is actually a counter. The counter starts counting at zero. Next I added a link control where I use an expression to display the title of the book. I use the variable, which I defined in the repeat control, called book title. You can refer to column values by using the column name. In my case, title. Later on I will show you how we can use the link to publish an action and a value, which can be consumed by other Lotus Notes components. 
As last step, I added the page row control to the X page. On the All Properties tab, you find that it has an attribute, called for. I added it to the control and specified the id of the repeat control as value. I will demonstrate the steps in the next demo. I start with creating a new X page. Here I define the title view as data source. The view is in the same database. I name it book titles. Now I go back to the controls view. I select the repeat control and drag it to the page. Next I change the attributes of the repeat control. The easiest way is to make use of the all properties tab. Now I will drag the label control to the X page, which I will use for the numbering of the books. I use expression language to retrieve the value from the repeat control. Next I place a link control on the page. I will use expression language to retrieve the name of the book title by using the name of the domino column. Here I finished the page code by dragging the page row control to the X page. In the X page I refer to the repeat control. Let's check the result. In this video instruction you learned how to use repeat and pager controls. I also showed you how to work with expression language. I thank you for watching this X Pages instruction video. See you next time.